Girl, I can't lie. As you all finally know now, I'm getting a nose job. Damn! Am I anxious? Yes. A little nervous? Yes. But I'm actually pretty excited for this whole thing to finally go down. But before this surgery could even happen, there are a lot of things that I need to do to ensure that I have a safe and speedy recovery. So come along with me as I prepare for the biggest event of my life. Okay, so I'm here. I'm not sure if this is like the type of place where you could vlog, but I'm gonna try to get as much footage as possible. So I don't really feel comfortable going into like a medical place with like a camera. So I'm just gonna bring my phone and if I can vlog, I will. Get up, it means we have to go. Boy, you're always sleeping. Everything looks like it goes somewhere you want to sleep. You think every part is your bedroom. That's funny. Okay, let's go. This is my hair. I blow dried it. I very, 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 very much need a trim. Like, very mushy to trim. I'm basically just getting box braids. I don't really consider box braids a glow down. I think box braids are a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful hairstyle. In the term like glow down in this case, I mean like less maintenance. When you have wigs, especially frontal wigs, that's just a lot and a lot and a lot of maintenance. I don't really want to worry about if my hair looks nice, if my lace is blended while I'm recovering. So I thought it would just be easiest if I just got box braids. I would do my box braids myself, but I want to keep these in for like a month. And my box braids just aren't really that good. I can really only keep in my box braids for like a week. I'm really excited to get my hair braided. Two hours later. So I got my hair done two days ago and I hate it. Um, I know from here it may look fine. Like, oh, Chi Chi just regular box braids. Bleh. But let me just take out this scrunchie. <laughs> like, I just don't really like it at all. Especially the ends. I just don't really like the ends. Let me just look at this a little bit more. Yeah, no, I can't. Um, so I'm going to cut it. Since my biggest like problem with this hairstyle is that the ends are one too short, I wanted these braids to be like down to the thong and they're not. So one, they're too short and two, they're too thin. I've been seeing this like braid bob in style a lot recently and I wanna go ahead and try it out. So yeah, honestly, worst case scenario, it looks bad. I'll just take it out and do it myself. I have rubber bands here. I have jewels here. Okay, here goes nothing. <gasps> oh, I forgot about my real hair. Yeah, so I don't like it. It's too late to quit now, so we're just gonna have to go with it. Um, I don't know if I like it. I look really edgy. Like, I look like I need a septum piercing. I'm gonna give it to myself. It was a nice effort, but this is definitely going to be a one-time thing. In the back is especially where I got a little nervous because I couldn't really see. And I had to cut according to where my hair stopped and not according to like what would fit the bob. So I'm pretty sure back there looks atrocious, but it doesn't look that bad from the front. Um, This hairstyle can definitely work for recovering because it's nice, it's short. It'll be easy to keep hair out of my face. And yeah, but I do have to go to school for four more days. 
which I don't like. I just wish my hairdresser never me up so I would never have to do this in the first place. But here we are, here we are. <laughs> Hi guys, so I'm actually in my sister's room because um, she has better lighting in here and they're both in college so it's not like anyone's using this room anyway. The smoke protector that you guys hear in the background of all my videos, it's the loudest in this room because it comes from here. So if you hear the smoke protector, like that, try to ignore it. I'll try to edit it out as much as I can. But in this portion of the video, I wanted to share with you guys my little nose job haul. The other day I went and I bought all the nose job stuff. The first thing I bought is saline spray. It helps moisturize your nose. It's gonna get really dry in there. I think you're supposed to use this 10 days after surgery, so I won't be using this for a while, but I bought it. So the next thing I got is dry mouth spray. This is what it looks like. I also got Tylenol. It's a painkiller. I also bought Hydrogen peroxide and I also got straws because when you have your nose job, you can't really drink water like like that um, Because the water could hit your nose and all that stuff. So you have to use straws So as you guys can see here, I am taking off my lash extensions should I have gone to a professional Yes, I definitely should have gone to a professional because I was ripping off my real lashes But I didn't really care that I was ripping off my real lashes because I don't really have long nice lashes anyway And I wear false lashes or lash extensions all the time. So I didn't really care I know my lash tech is looking at this video and she's cringing and she'll probably yell at me when she sees this but uh yeah i had no options because when you get a nose job your eyes bruise up very very badly and they tape your eyes shut during surgery so i just didn't want lashes to get in the way of everything so that's why i decided to take them out but don't worry as soon as i heal i will be getting my lash extensions back because i am not the same without it <laughs> I have no lashes guys. What is this? Like who am I? So far, you've seen that the nose job preparation process has been pretty fun. But the hardest part of all of it was the diet that I had to go on two weeks prior. You want to stay away from foods that will thin your blood. Having thin blood is actually a good thing because it prevents blood clots. But it's not so good when you're about to have surgery. You want to stay away from foods like avocado, fish oil, nuts, and the real killer, spices. I'm already a really picky eater, so that limited my diet to only white rice and vegetables. On this diet, I lost over 20 pounds. Here's a clip of me at my regular weight at around 143 to 140 pounds. And here's me after three weeks of being on the diet at 119 pounds. This was by far the hardest part of the pre-op process. So my surgery is in 12 hours and I've officially finished everything that I need to do for this surgery. Um, I'm now at the point of this time where I'm like not supposed to eat anything or drink anything. All I really need to do now is go to sleep and <laughs> wake up tomorrow and go to the surgery center. Um, I can't believe this is actually like the last day I'm gonna look like this. I think I'm actually gonna kind of miss it. I just can't believe this is all happening and at the same time, no one knows I'm doing this. I know when people usually get surgery, they're really scared about the anesthesia, but I'm actually most excited for the anesthesia. I just don't really understand how you could like fall asleep and not feel anything, not feel time moving, not feel anything going on with you for an amount of time. Like I'm, I'm really curious to see how that works and I'm really curious to see how that works on me because I don't know, I just feel like I'm gonna be one of those people who try to fight it 
Like whenever I watch Grey's Anatomy and they put the mask over the person's face and after they have to count backwards from 10 and then they only get to like 7. I don't know. I feel like I'm going to be fighting it. I'm going to be trying to stay awake. I don't know. I'm just annoying. I'm really annoying. Yeah, it's nighttime. A lot of things are going through my head. I guess this is the end of the video. Thank you for watching. If you guys liked it, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more content from me. And I'll see you guys in my next video. I feel like I should give the camera one more side profile. Yep, that's my side profile, but not for long. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.